Hey what's up everybody, it's Huey here. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I do my screenshots and just like a like a step by step walkthrough kind of thing. Um I did make a screenshot tutorial, but it was like a time lapse and it was really fast. So I thought I may as well come in here and just like you know walk you through how I do it. Um and maybe you can start making screenshots like I do. But um so first off you want to go you want to right click on your desktop go to nvidia control panel that opens up this thing in your manage 3d settings so there's it, by default it comes up with global settings go to program settings and there should be a little add button here and then you have to look for your mx.exe um, when that comes up you put in these settings and i'm like these are the best settings i could find there probably still could be some more things to do like with this whole thing because I don't know it like very well but like um, these are the best that I've come up with and they look fine so at first, so you do that then you go over here you come to your desktop icon you right click that go to properties now what you want to do is you want to add hidden dash dash hidden dash pause and dash dash hidden dash hud so this just gets rid of the pause and the HUD, so it's just easier when you go into Photoshop and start tinkering with it. Um, then you apply, click OK and all that. Um, and then you want to open up your sim. All right now that you're in sim, you want to go to your graphics and sound settings, go to advanced graphics, and then just change it. You can change it to this, but if your game can somehow run 1024 by 1024, I'd recommend doing that. All right, so once you've found your track and you've rode around, usually I do like only like a lap because um, that's usually about enough unless you want to session a specific section or a jump um, you come into your demo just go to your default demo so when you go into this it should be default so click on that make sure your playback mode is playback only and then what you do so you come around here so you can press your sit dab to lock onto your rider and find it easier so you find the spot where you want to take your screenshot and then what I do is I go to my field of view I lower it down to 35 or around about usually I keep it at 35 though go to about here and then you just look around to see what you like the most so like like that like mm, not a big fan so something like if I can get it so something like that I reckon looks pretty good to me so now what you want to do is you want to press S on your keyboard and then skip forward and back or skip forward or back um, just so your right is out of the frame take another screenshot so you see I've taken two screenshots now you can quit out of your game now you can go to Photoshop open it up and then my when then wherever your screenshots are after do like this weird, oh, I have to do like this weird thing to get to it but just find wherever your screenshots are located you get them put them into your, into your photoshop and uh, I do this, I grab, I go into here I go to my this folder, grab my logo and my color corrections I'll leave the link to the color corrections down in the description as well um, to duplicate, actually no, I'll do this stuff first. So duplicate this stuff, this script, this first one over to the next one. So now it should be looking like this. You grab the bottom layer, convert it to a smart object and rasterize. Now you click the top layer, make sure the top layer has the rider in it. You go to difference, select, color range, click OK. Now what I do is I look around or in the rider just look for any weird like dots like this except these dots are a part of it because it's like showing because of the holes in the helmet but like if you look for any of them dots where they shouldn't be then what you do is you usually just grab this tool you go to the lasso tool and then up here where the boxes are there's there's like a there's like these two boxes one is like hollow and the other one's like um solid and when you when you got your mouse there's like a little lasso and there's a negative sign next to it if you hold shift it's a positive so when i do like the negative you can do anything on the rider is fine when it's a positive it creates like a hole 
so you don't want to do that and then it's vice versa for this so negative does that positive gets rid of it um, but there's nothing really bad with this so I'm just going to backspace control D to deselect it I don't need that you can put this layer back to normal then you go to here over to here duplicate make sure you duplicate it to this layer same with this just duplicate that over now I've got all these so I'll just delete this one because I don't need that put this to into the corner and then I keep forgetting I need to change the color so now you go to your color corrections tab and there's a bunch of different like colors and different like the things in here and all that um, I don't use like you could probably make something really cool with these ones but I don't generally use them there's like warm filters as well I use this column the other make sure you get rid of that so take the eye off of it then you use CC number six and CC number five then you click on the folder and then up here at opacity turn that down to 30 or around about 30 I guess depending on what it is and then do the same for that one so that looks pretty good if it's too dark or too bright you can always like just turn that off in general or just play around with them um, but that looks pretty good to me now usually when the ride is really dark I'll control J which duplicates it and then go to here and then where it says normal you go down to screen and that makes the rider brighter and then again you go to opacity turn it down a little bit but the rider isn't that dark so I don't need to do that um, for the background go to this lens blur um, click OK make sure it's around about 15 radius and now because there is no there's no like dirt or anything in it or um, anything to put a shadow on or to make dust or anything um, you don't really have to do anything else special to it so you can just um, so you shift click all of them so it like like selects all of them and then you merge layers merge them onto one so you go to filter camera raw filter now you open up this um, so I usually put it at about this first one temperature at about three to five depending on how it is like how like what like how much it you reckon it needs because you see like anything above like five is pretty like intense um so yeah about three is fine uh exposure you can play around with it um i put it be down just a little bit uh contrast put it up again around about about seven to ten maybe five to ten uh, highlights put that down a fair bit shadows put that up a little bit as well your whites and the blacks just to make it a bit brighter um, texture have this around about about at least above 20 I would say um, that just makes everything look a lot sharper um, clarity I'm not sure what it does but it looks better when it's up a little bit uh, dehaze again a little bit up um, and then just click OK and that that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all later